Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 12 May 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior deputy editor Skulk Berger writes that the carbon border adjustment scheme is raising anxiety among South African exporters. Companies in countries that are carbon intensive, such as South Africa, may face carbon border adjustment tariffs that are also linked to indirect emissions as the European Union is assessing methods to include these emissions in the carbon border adjustment mechanism scheme. The engineering news features focus on local manufacturing, where a specialist fabricator is stronger than ever in tough market conditions fire prevention and protection, where Industry 4.0 enables a surge in automated firefighting solutions. And hydraulics and pneumatics, where an automation company is moving into the future with controlled pneumatics. The Mining Weekly features focus on mine water, where mines change their approach to water management. And education and training in mining, where Venetia prioritizes critical skills as first production pressure mounts. This week's business leader is Bulele Mgobozi, product manager at CISPRO Africa. And in this week's cartoon, the appointment of a dedicated Minister of Electricity has seen power struggles over ministerial powers, mixed messages over the Energy Action Plan, and general confusion over who is actually in charge of what. If it doesn't settle, it will make the load shedding outlook even more dire than it already is. In other exciting news, the new design for the Engineering News and Mining Weekly websites launched this week, from which we'll continue to deliver comprehensive, concise and clear South African business news. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Enjoy the read and see you next time.